Hi folks, Larry here, and uh, thought I'd send a little message to all my pin friends, friends, and friends. Blah. Anyway, pin pal people, if you are looking for a pin pal, you can go to my Facebook page, and Mr. Announcer, can you tell them how to find the pin pal? Uh, for Facebook, look yes. for Larry's Fountain Pen Pals. So that's what you need to look for, and go on there and uh, just put in there that you are looking for pin pals. So, what a better way to really get to know somebody even more personal after you make that bond between you two and just a great way to use your pens, inks, and paper. And it's so much personal than a email, in my humble opinion. Man. So, get your pens out, get your paper and ink, and get ready to do some writing. So, it doesn't matter if you use however many pens you want to use on the letter. Some people use in paragraphs several different pens. And some people use different inks and in different paragraphs. Some people just use one pen, one ink on the page. And it doesn't have to be a lengthy letter. It's the way you want it to be. Remember, it's all about you. Of course, you can find videos that will show you the proper methods to write letters and blah, blah, blah. But I say pooey on that. I'm going to write a letter the way I want, the way I feel. And, you know, if uh, it's only a paragraph long, so be it. So, that's what I like to point out to all the people that are into writing letters. And it's also interesting when uh, you write a paragraph and you want to use a new pen, write down what, what pen you were using and the color of the ink. Uh, that's some added little information that's always interesting. So there you have it. So now I hope you enjoy my next pen review, which is coming up right after I get through with this. Because right now I'm headed to the post office. Yay! post office and as you can see we're doing a, a video as we head to the post office in Fort Worth, Texas. Balikala! Hey folks, welcome back. So what's up? What y'all been up to? Hey, are you excited? I am. Why? Well, because I'm still breathing. That's why. Blah. Anyway, blah. 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 Mm. Okay, I'm going to have to drop in right here. Why does that exist? And here it is. Is anyone hungry? Yes, yeah, starving. I'm on it. Ew. I'm just going to wait until we get home where the food isn't decomposing. Well, la dee da. I didn't realize I was with a bunch of sophisticates. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Blah. Keep watching me. Blah. It means something. Blah. Anyway, so here we go. Here I have it, some ballpoint pens. Right? Ballpoint pens. I, I've got the, the Lamy here ballpoint pen. And I've got a Parker uh, ballpoint pen. I've got another Parker ballpoint pen. Then I've got a, a, a another a ballpoint pen by paper made they all do the same thing then I got another paper made they all do the same thing they write the ballpoints right and uh, there's people that love ballpoints and there's nothing wrong with that uh, every once in a while I have to use a ballpoint so they're cool that's why I always keep ballpoints handy uh, but excuse me People that are into fountain pens, and there's quite a few that I know that are not into ballpoint pens. Okay. Well, you have rollerball pens, 
felt pins. And then when you do need a check sign, it's for me anyway, you have to have a ballpoint pen because a fountain pen is not going to do it uh, on my copy of a check. It won't go through. But anyway, so. So you have all these different kind of writing instruments, right? But it's still not the one you like. It's not the type you like. Because you're not that type. You're into fountain pens. Plain Jane fountain pens. Right. Right. I understand it. I got you covered right there. I totally get it. I know where you're coming from. Been there, done that. So, I want to talk about one of my favorite pens and why. It's the one and only Pilot Vanishing Point Limited Edition that came out, I believe, was it last year? I picked this beautiful pen up at uh, Federalist Pens and Paper. And, uh, yeah, it was a little more pricey than your regular 150 160 This is a little over 200 And it's really gorgeous, but I am a Vanishing Point guy. I think I have five left. I had to sell my collection at one time to buy other pens, and that was a long time back. And there was a story. They all got stolen, blah, blah. But anyway... I really love this pen. I really love Vanishing Point. You know, when they came out, uh, people were having the clip removed. They were really, truly annoyed with the clip. It got in their way. They didn't like the way it felt. This clip right here, down here, uh, where the nip of the uh, pen uh, comes out. I never had that problem. I love this pen. Very unique. I mean, it's... Here you go. You got a ballpoint ready to go, right? Then you got a pilot, I mean you got a, yeah, pilot vantage point, click, ready to go. Or, if you don't like that, you can always go into a, a regular twist off fountain pen. There you go, then you got to put the clip back, uh, cap back on, put that back on. Uh, or, and there's always the, the Lombie Dialogue twist, instead of using the little button on top. For those that like to twist it more, okay? So, and then you got the pull-off caps. Don't forget those. But this is really a handy pen. I've always enjoyed them. I mean, they're, they're Johnny on the spot. They have great nibs. Uh, smooth nib, wet nib. And I can't say enough about these vanishing points. They've been a while, around a while. And let me tell you, I have never fallen out of love with a vanishing point. It's a serious pen. It's a pen for those who are on the go a lot. That just want to click and go. Bam, bam, bam. Here it is, right here. Okay? You don't have to fool around with uh, twisting your pen. You don't have to fool around with twisting the cap off. You don't have to fool around with pulling the cap off and those who post post it or keep the cap somewhere you won't lose it it's all in one right here bam bam and you're done so this is a dynamite pen and I highly recommend it now again I, I tell you what a lot of people don't like the clip for me it never has bothered me so there it is Beautiful. Look at this pen. This pen is just knockout gorgeous. I just love it. Just love this pen. And I'll bring out one of my other babies later. But right now, let's do a writing sample. Okay. And we'll do it on what paper is this, Mr. Announcer? Ayush. All right. And then the ink we're going to be using, Mr. Announcer, is? Artemis. Mr. Artemis. Okay. And this is Pilot Vanishing Point. And this is, oh, and this ink is by Le Bon. Yeah, I want to point that out. And I 
uh, Frank from Federalist Pens and Paper, he sent me this ink uh, months ago. And uh, thank you, Frank, again. I haven't forgot you. Uh, I appreciate all the help that you can give me. Uh, so this is, uh, again, by the Baron. Uh, Le Bon. I mean, Le Bon. I'm trying to find that name. To, it's, it's right a, back here. Le Bon. L A B A N. Yeah, Le Bon Pen Company. So that's, I'm assuming, where it comes from. I assume a lot of things that I'm wrong. So, bleh, bleh, bleh. Looks like corporation, yeah. Okay. And we'll just write the name down here while I'm at it. Uh -huh. There we go. And do a little wet, nice, wet, smooth nib. I love my pen. Nice ink. Everything just works well for me. Poly vanishing point. And then the ink right there. That's what it, the box it comes in. Uh, you know, it's a win-win any way you look at it. And if you're not a vanishing point lover, well, maybe you need to be or need to revisit them at least and give them another chance. But if you're not, hey, I can dig it. But uh, hey, if anybody asks me, would I recommend a Pilot Vanishing Point? Yes, I would. And I hope you get as much enjoyment and excitement as I do when I use one. In fact, any pen you use, I hope you get that electrified feeling that just motivates you that wants to make you really get in there and use your pens and write and last but not least I want to bring up pencils we can never forget about the great pencils I grew up using the big red pencil in grade school the big red fat one I remember but you know I hope pencils will live forever I know there's a lot of people that use pencils uh, and a lot of uh, the pen companies, they they put, they come out with pencils. Uh, Baron Fig has come out with pencils. Uh, you can find pencils just about at any pen dealer. Uh, they're, they're still popular, if I'm correct. So, do I use a pencil? Yeah, I, I do. I, I try to mix it up, but you know, a 90%, 95% it's pens. And then the other 5%, I kind of break it down between the rollerball, point, point, ballpoint pen, and uh, a pencil. You know, that's, that's what I do. So, well, folks, I hope you enjoyed the update review on my input of the Pilot, Pilot Vanishing Point Limited Edition. And I hope you enjoyed the ink and the paper. And, of course, to get this paper and to get this ink you need to get in touch with Frank Lend pins and paper Frank Lend pins and paper Federalist Frank pins bleh, bleh, bleh. so just tease it alright if you really want to get a hold of these people bleh, I'm doing it again Franklin pins. I'm just teasing so Get a hold of Mr. Federato. Oh, I did it again, didn't I? Hmm. All right. Federalist pens and papers where you can pick up law. Law. And let them know that you heard it from Larry's Fountain Pen Reviews or the Pin Pug Guy or Larry or Bleh. Eh, whatever. All right. You know, I am so automatically done. Can you dig it? And it's getting that time to... Feed the kitties, take a shower, do my meds, do my pain cream, and 
chill out and relax until tomorrow. All right. Well, as my friends want to say something to you, he loves bananas. And he loves to sing. Yes. And this one here comes from my good friend, Troy LaPlante. And one more time, before you go, say something else. <laughs> okay, I was a better party, funny, funny one, so goodbye. Bye. Bye.